A special Mother's Day weekend is ahead for a Southland mother and her daughter. KCAL News reporter Rena Nakano explains how a mother has given her daughter life not just once, but twice. When a baby is born, they're half mom and half dad. But in the case of Brittany Chow, she's got a little more mom in her. When the 33-year-old was born, she was a chunky baby. Happy, healthy, no problems whatsoever. A smart girl who became a pediatrician at Loma Linda University Health. But last September, she started experiencing extreme fatigue. A trip to the ER and test results showed her kidneys were functioning at only 10%. Steroids are not going to work. You're going to need a transplant. Um, I think that's when I was like, oh, okay. Dr. Michael DeVera says Southern California has one of the longest transplant waiting lists in the country. With a recent diagnosis, Chow was nowhere near the top of the list. Most patients are um, on the wait waiting list will wait for, you know, years to get a kidney. Chow's family and friends immediately volunteered to be her donor, but no one was a match. Her mother Elizabeth was a close match. Doctors told her she still had to lose a significant amount of weight and eat healthy to become a perfect match. Elizabeth says it wasn't even a question. The first thing she asked was, when can I start? I would die for my children. If she needed two kidneys, I would give her two kidneys. If I can be on dialysis for the rest of my life, that's fine. It, it doesn't it doesn't matter. For the next few months, while Chow was on dialysis, her mother exercised like never before, losing more than 20 pounds before going under the knife. In late March, her kidney was placed inside her daughter. It was a success. The kidney she gave me was so healthy. Within two days, my levels were normal. The two women are recovering well, almost back to 100%. This Mother's Day, Chow was extra thankful to the woman who gave life to her not once but twice. Mom gave birth to me and literally saved my life again. In Loma Linda. I have mom part of me forever. Rena Nakano, KCAL News.